Chapter 10 As I looked, I saw what appeared to be a throne of blue sapphire above the crystal surface over the heads of the cherubim. Then the Lord spoke to the man in linen clothing and said, Go in between the whirling wheels beneath the cherubim and take a handful of glowing coals and scatter them over the city. He did this as I watched. The cherubim were standing at the south end of the temple when the man went in, and the cloud of glory filled the inner courtyard. Then the glory of the Lord rose up from above the cherubim and went over to the door of the temple. The temple was filled with this cloud of glory, and the temple courtyard glowed brightly with the glory of the Lord. The moving wings of the cherubim sounded like the voice of God Almighty and could be heard clearly in the outer courtyard. The Lord said to the man in linen clothing, Go between the cherubim and take some burning coals from between the wheels. So the man went in and stood beside one of the wheels. Then one of the cherubim reached out his hand and took some live coals from the fire burning among them. He put the coals into the hands of the man in linen clothing. And the man took them and went out. All the cherubim had what looked like human hands hidden beneath their wings. Each of the four cherubim had a wheel beside him, and the wheels sparkled like chrysolite. All four wheels looked the same. Each wheel had a second wheel turning crosswise within it. The cherubim could move forward in any of the four directions they faced without turning as they moved. They went straight in the direction in which their heads were turned, never turning aside. Both the cherubim and the wheels were covered with eyes. The cherubim had eyes all over their bodies, including their hands, their backs, and their wings. I heard someone refer to the wheels as the whirling wheels. Each of the four cherubim had four faces. The first was the face of an ox, the second was a human face, the third was the face of a lion, and the fourth was the face of an eagle. Then the cherubim rose upward. These were the same living beings I had seen beside the Kibar River. When the cherubim moved, the wheels moved with them. When they rose into the air, the wheels stayed beside them, going with them as they flew. When the cherubim stood still, the wheels also stopped, for the spirit of the living beings was in the wheels. Then the glory of the Lord moved from the door of the temple and hovered above the cherubim. And as I watched, the cherubim flew with their wheels to the east gate of the Lord's temple and the glory of the God of Israel hovered above them. These were the same living beings I had seen beneath the God of Israel when I was by the Kibar River. I knew they were cherubim, for each had four faces and four wings, and what looked like human hands under their wings. Their faces, too, were just like the faces of the beings I had seen at the Kibar, and they traveled straight ahead just as the others had.